okay dear students so this is another mind-blowing question on your screen let us concentrate here like how to do this question now a circuit consists of a cell of emf 3 volt okay four resistors connected as shown resistor r1 and r4 are 1 ohm and r2 and r3 are 2 ohms what is the voltmeter reading my dear students now this question uh is having a very big concept here I tell you the voltmeter these are ideal voltmeters okay ideal voltmeters now what do you mean by ideal voltmeter voltmeters generally have a very high resistance so ideal voltmeter will be having a resistance equal to infinite because it is ideal and what about the ammeter and the ideal ammeter they have very low resistance and as per the ideal ammeter is concerned, we will say that resistance will be taken as zero. Like for example, they say that there is an ammeter in the circuit. So what will be the resistance for the ammeter? Zero. But uh, practically we know that it is not zero, isn't it? Anyways, so this voltmeter, the resistance is coming out to be equal to infinity. Now, if the resistance is infinite, obviously it will not allow the current to even enter into this branch. It means that all of the current that is coming from this place it will get divided into two parts so let me call this as i1 and this as i2 so the i2 current will pass through the resistor r2 and it will straight forward pass over to r4 so this is again i2 and i2 is going there so no current is now entering in this branch and as per i1 is concerned it will just pass over like this and i1 is not going to enter into this branch so this is the concept number one that is very very important for us to understand otherwise this question is uh, impossible to be solved like not impossible but really very difficult if i choose some value of resistance here okay so this current is i1 again and applying the junction law the current becomes i1 and i2 and same i current is now returned to the battery so this is how the circuit is now completely described okay so obviously if this circuit if this branch is not working you can just remove it and you can say that r2 is in series with r4 and r1 is in series with r3 and both of these are later in parallel so our circuit reduces to this like this okay so now let me name this these junctions like a b and this is c and this is d so this is one ohm and this is two ohm. now i want to find i1 and i2 so how i1 can be found so i1 will be like this is one ohm and this is two ohm so this branch is having three ohm as the resistance and the potential is also three ohm so one ampere current will enter into this branch and similarly i2 it will be the total potential difference b because both of these branches are in parallel that is why the potential difference will be equal to that of the battery and in this also the total resistance is 2 plus 1 that is 3 so it means that the total current that is coming is 2 ampere it divides itself into 2 1 ampere and 1 ampere like this now i want to find the potential difference between a and b so it is like va minus vb so va minus vb will be v is equal to ir here so the current here is one into one this one and this one okay so it will be one volt so we can just imagine that this is three volt and this is zero so this voltage can be taken as three volt and this voltage can be taken as zero volt so if this is three and zero one is dropped so this voltage become two volt okay and as per the vac is concerned va minus vc it is like one into two that that will be two volt so this is coming out to be three minus two that is one volt so what is the potential difference between b and c two minus one one volt and there we go the answer for this question is b so my dear students this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also share the video with all your friends. All the best.